Hey boys and girls, it's been a while. Been busy making a lot of sets and teams since my return, but I've managed to find a decent AU match during testing against Tsurusu. Sure hope I say that right. So without further ado, let's fire it up. My foe starts off with a Smurgle while I opt for Infernape after seeing his team configuration. Figuring he wants to spool me, I want to guilt his Smurgle as much as possible and go for close combat. He, on the other hand, goes for Magic Code, trying to bounce back my Stealth Rocks. Quite a gamble on his part, considering all lead Infernapes carry either Fake Out or Straight Up Attack. All in all, works out brilliantly for me. Knowing I'm faster and that I would have seen his Focus Sash go off, I pick U-Turn to maintain momentum or finish Smurgle off if he stays put. However, he calls it back and sends him Blastoise, to which I bring in my Jirachi, trying to lock it down trick. Figuring something like that might occur, he activates Protect and scouts my strategy handily. Not too sure what he'll switch into, except for a Pokemon to absorb the trick. I swap Jirachi for Toxic Rogue, just to play it safe. The opponent's response is sending in Exorus, probably Scarf, to nullify my Jirachi's trick attempt. Unable to stay in either way, I send in my tanky Porygon 2 to sponge any of its hits. Seeing how Earthquake leaves my Porygon 2 unscathed, he quickly recalls Furtorn, which can warm most Porygons with ease. Predicting a switch, I went for the Discharge, just to get a Paralysis going, or whatever might pop in, which I do get. Although it seems I'm forced to switch out now, I let loose my Ace in the hole, in the form of Magic Code, shrugging off any of Furtorn's support moves. Although I'm seemingly gaining nothing here, I'm baiting my opponent into attacking Porygon instead of going for spikes or whatever it can throw at me, which will provide me an opportunity to shift in something that can threaten it. Figuring he'd opt for Gyro Ball over Power Whip, I hold Donphin in, but much to my demise, my foe does go for Power Whip, allowing him to easily 2 hit KO me. Luckily enough, I was able to train Donphin to handle Ferratorn with decent success, giving it enough attack investments to 2 hit KO opposing Ferratorns with Fire Fang. Seeing how much I did, I'm betting he's fully invested in special defense, as opposed to the more common spread. With Donphin out of the game, score is now 5-6. As Donphin was my rapid spinner, I need to exterminate that Ferratorn as soon as possible before it starts mining my side of the field. To clean up, I pop in Infernape again with his Focus Sash still intact. With the aid of my item, I'm able to strike back at his Exorus with close combat, incapacitating it enough to knock him out with Mark Punch. Moving uh, Exorus balances the score at 5 vs 5. Lacking the strength to tackle this robust Blastoise, I U-turn Infernape into Toxic Rogue to absorb any of its most common attacks. In the meantime, my adversary uses Rapid Spin to clear his side of the field. Being in a relative safe position, I start employing Nasty Plots to boost my Toxic Rogue's damage output. Unsure if it's a misclick or not, the foe spells Scald at me, which is rendered null and void by Toxic Rogue's dry skin. With a Nasty Blood under my belt, I order the attack with Sludge Wave, dealing massive amounts of damage to Blastoise. Rather uncommonly, Blastoise hurls Toxic Rogue with Seismic Toss, which is too shabby of a move considering its walling duty. Nevertheless, I'm able to blast this Pokemon out of here with another Sludge Wave, tipping the score on my favor to 5 versus 4. In response to my setup Toxic Grow, Galvantula jumps on the scene. With nearly full health, I should be able to take anything bar Choice Back Thunder, but alas, Galvantula electrocutes my Pokemon with a critical hit, leaving the score at 4 versus 4. In contemplation of Ferratorn coming back in to War Porygon 2, who can sponge most of Galvantula's hits, I replace Porygon 2 with Infernape to counter said scenario. Unfortunately, I overpredict it here as the enemy straight up attacks and finishes off Infernape. With it down and out, score sits at 3 vs 4. Keen on crippling the spider, sent forth Jirachi. Galvantula quickly returns and Ferratorn takes his place, just in time to resist my stab psychic. Thanks to Donphan's Firefang earlier, I'm able to finish it Ferratorn off with another one, leaving the score at 3 apiece. Although Gyarados can easily counter Lock Jirachi, I didn't see Intimidate go off, which means it's run the Moxie ability, this allowing Porygon 2 to trace and tank it effectively. Therefore, I decide to stay in as I'd be faster regardless at this point and do some preliminary damage. Surprisingly, my foe packs Flamethrower instead of the more effective Earthquake or Dragon Dance. This turn of events allows me to cut Gyarados short and bring the score to 3 vs 2. Vengeful of killing Gyarados, Galvantula takes the scene again and smothers Jirachi with a stab thunder, bringing the match dangerously close to its end at 2 vs 2 Pokemon left. 
With only a pair left, I place Ducto into play and try to chip away at Galvan Tool's health as much as possible with Ice Beam. With the exchange going strong, I only notice at the end that this Pokemon is not locked into one attack due to a choice item. All in all, the duel leads me to my last Pokemon against two of his. Luckily enough, Porygon 2 was able to wound Galvantula sufficiently for Weavile to eliminate with Ice Shard, and with only a near-dead Smurgle left, a secure victory with another attack. With his last Pokemon defeated, the match ends in a 1 versus nil. That was the game for today, I hope you enjoyed it. The narration was a little rushed here as I've been trying to wrap this battle up for about 5 days now, but never found sufficient time to do it. Although it isn't as detailed as the previous narrations, I was able to wrap this up in about an hour and a half instead of the usual three to four hours of ditty and whatnot. Let me know what you think of it. If you don't uh, mind it, I'll be able to pump out videos at a faster rate. If you do, uh, I'll see if I can switch back to the older style, but uh, that'll definitely require a bunch more time and thus less videos. Anyway, I'm glad to have you guys aboard, and like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Till next time.